Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can move documents from one folder to another folder in a same document library, in a different document library, also in a different site collections document library. There is a two way to achieve this one. One is the manual, second is the automatic way. I'm going to talk about both the option. First, let's focus on the manual one. As you can see, I have a source library under this SharePoint demo site and also I have a destinations library under the same site. I have another site with the name dev where I have this documents folder. What I want my this particular D1 folder to be moved into the same site collections destination library and into the different site collections documents for library. So let's just talk about how we can do that manually. Select the, your particular folder that you have options copy to or either move to. You can select any of the option. In a copy to we keep the original one here and also move the copy to a different locations. I'll select the copy to. There you have an option of current library. That means if you want this particular folder to be moved under current library, you have to select this option. Otherwise, you have to select the site collection option here. As I know, this is my SharePoint demo site. I'll click this one. and I know I have to move this under destination library. I'll also select this one. So there is no folder created under my this de destination library. So I'll just click on copy here. My folder has been moved here. And as I can see document under that particular folder, all the document has been copied. And the next thing what I have to do is for the different site collection, I'll click this copy one and choose the dev site. Under that I have to move under the document and click copy. I'll see in this documents library, I have D1 folder here also. As you can see, all the data here. One thing to remember is that the metadata that has been attached with this particular folder or the document under that folder will be lost once you move your data between documents library or between site collections. That's one thing to remember. Now the next step which I have to perform is this is the manual one. If I want this to be an automatic process, so Let's suppose I want to schedule some time every day in a morning check for this document and move this document to a different a library. It could be based on condition. It could be any conditions you want or it could be a flat move also. So let's just talk about how we can do that also. I'll go in my flow section and uh, in the create one, I'll click on this schedule flow. Click on this. I can just name my flow as in uh, move docs and uh, click on create in the recurrence you can uh, set the frequency i want this to run every day you can set up day week month as per your requirement next step is get files property Select the site address is my test and the library name will be my source library and uh, limit entries to folder because I want uh, data to be moved from only one folder to another folder. So I have to select that one here. And as I know, this is my source library under that one. I just want to move this particular D1 click on this one now you see that the path for d1 is here and the next step which i have to perform is coffee file sharepoint coffee file again select the url of the site where you want to move the data file identifier will be my file identifier and 
it will automatically take us to apply age and now the destination site address will be could be a different site collection or same site collection it's up to you where you want to move the data for me it is the same site collection and the destination folder will be my destinations library and you can see if there is a folder already exists so i have folder d1 there already i'll click this one and uh, that's it okay there is okay if another file is already there i will replace that click on save and uh, i can run my flow flow has started flow is successful i'll check in my folder here you can see that all the data in my destination library has been replaced about a minute ago so that means uh, we have successfully moved all the documents from this source d1 folder to this destinations d1 folder so now one scenario here is that it is moving all the documents from that particular folder to another folder what if if i want to move only specific document inside that folder that you can do by going to your added one and inside the apply it you can also apply a conditions here it will in the control conditions you can select choose value i can select the status here status value is equal to retire then uh, copy this copy file action and if yes and if no then uh, do nothing or you can send an email notifications i'll just remove this apply to each bottom here and in the if yes section simply copy file identifier destination site address will be same so destinations folder will be my destination library d1 folder and if the file already exists replace this one and if this condition is does not match you can you can send an email notifications send me an email notification i can select anything i'm selecting identifier here a link is nothing just title and we can also select the title here you can select anything i'm just selecting right now this option click on the save one and now this flow will run on the recurrent and it will check if any of the document inside this particular folder has the status as in retire then only that document will be moved to this particular destinations library otherwise you will get an email notifications so that's the way you can pretty much achieve what you want i hope you like this video if you do like this video don't don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much